Hi friends, we will learn about python comments. Uh, once you use a hash, the part right of it will become the comment or it will not be executed by python. So let us say this is comment. So this line will not be executed. Uh, so let us me give a print command print hello hello world. So let us run this and see hello world is printed. The first line is not printed. Now let us try one more that now we will see that how a inline comment is uh, printed. So I will say print again we will say hello world. Now I will say this is comment part. So, this part will not be executed. So, we will just uh, run this and see it is printing hello world only. So, these are all single line comment. This is a single line comment. This is a inline in the same line whatever code I am executing that I am commenting. So, this is right of it will not be executed. So, now let us go for multi line comments. Now, I can write them but there is no uh, Python does not support a multi line comment but there is a way to write it. Because if you are not assigning a string to a variable, Python will just read it and ignore it. So that is why what you will do, we will write three quotes and within this three single quotes, we are using single code, we can use double code also. I will write first line, now I will say second line, now I will say third line comment. Okay. Now after this, I will write print hello world. So, let me run it. You can see that this is the output is here. So, this is a multi line comment and I am using single quotes. Now, let us use double quotes and see that will also work. So, we will use double quotes for our uh, commenting or using a multi line uh, comment. So, this is a three double quotes I am using. There is no space in between that we have to remember first line, second line, third line. Now, after this I can write my code. So, I will say print hello world. So, now this will also work. This is the first three lines are comments only. Now, we will just see a little different how we are using it in a function and class. Now, let us create a function. So, we will scroll down a bit here. Yeah. So, here we will say define a function, let us say add num and two inputs we will take. So, the a and b. So, these are the two inputs. Inside this, it is, is we call it a doc uh, string. So, we will tell him about what this function is all about or we, it can be a class also. So, we will say add this, we will add two numbers fine this is all about the function what you are going to write so return now we'll say a plus b fine we'll come out of it now we'll say print now add num we'll say 5 plus sorry 5 comma 4 so this is fine one now if you run this you will get 9 okay not a great thing. Now, whatever we have written here as comment that also we can retrieve it. it uh, we can print that print add num then we will say doc. This doc this is known as doc string. So, let us run this and see you can see this will add two numbers. So, the, the whatever we write it here it is not ignored but it is kept as it and we can retrieve it. Usually, we write about the class what for this function is all those stuff here. 